Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're wrapping up the AP Physics 1 2015 free response questions, so let's take a look. So far this test has been a little bit strange. This is the first year they did this exam, so I, I think they're improving the questions and more standardizing them. Um, I don't know, that's my opinion at least. The figure above shows a string with one end attached to an oscillator and the other attend the other attached to a block. The string passes over a massless pulley system that turns with negligible fr friction. Four such strings, A, B, C, and D, are set side by side as shown in the diagram uh, below. Each oscillator is adjusted to vibrate the string at the fundamental frequency F. The distance between each oscillator and pulley L is the same, and the mass M of each block is the same. However, the fundamental frequency of each string is different. Okay. So... L, M... What is different about the four strings shown above that would result in their having different fundamental frequencies? Okay, so they have the same mass. Same mass. Hence, FT has to be the same. They have the same L. Okay, so we need a few equations here, right? So, um... They gave you the veloc this velocity equation. Why does this matter? Well, um, the velocity is also equal to lambda times f. Okay. Now, because all of the L's are the same, in the fundamental frequency, um, the wavelength is the same. The frequency is different. So wavelength is same because same L, same length of the rope. But f is varies different different fundamental frequency right that's what they kind of are telling you so that implies v varies like v is different among the four strings the velocity must be different because if for f to be different and the lambda to be the same v has to be different okay so v is different somehow what aspect of v could be different well in the square root of this equate, this square m over l, l is the same. Ft is the same because uh, the m is the same. And I don't know, like an ft is equal to just m times g. If you draw a free body diagram on this block, this is ft, and this is mg, mg. and because this block. Um, I mean, unless it's this thing is fall, it's not falling, right? It's it's just assume we're assuming it's up here. That means F T has to equal M G. There's no acceleration on this block, so F G and the same. So hence the mass of the rope, uh, the rope must be different. Okay, so this is the key part, and I I kind of outline it. You would have to explain it in paragraph terms but how I just described it to you is how you would write it out a student graphs frequency is a function of the inverse of the linear mass density will the graph be linear okay so f which equals v over lambda which is equal to the square root of ft over m over l over lambda this is the linear mass density. Um, this is this is not a linear relationship between this and this, nonlinear. Because it doesn't. E it's not like f f would have to equal some constant times m over l, and that's this would be a linear relationship, k times m over l, but it's it's not. The frequency of the oscillator connected string D is changed so the string vibrates in its second harmonic. On the side view of the string below, mark and label the points of the string with the greatest average vertical speed. So it's going up and down. Remember the fundamental frequency, if this is a stuck point, like anchored, then this would be the initial frequency 
and the first fundamental would look like um, this, right? So the points where I have the average, it like where this is the entire wavelength, um, I want to so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then 1, 2, 3 is where the maximum is. And then 1, 2, 3 is where this maximum is. Those points right there. Okay. Those would swing up and down the most. Okay, let's take a look. Um... Uh, for reasoning that since the strings of the same length and since the wavelength of the fundamental length, all four waves have the same wavelength, which I did. For reasoning that since the wavelengths are the same, different frequencies have different velocities, which I did. The uh, same mass, and therefore the linear mass must be different since Ft is not equal to m over l. Or strings of different masses. Okay. Different linear mass density, different total mass, different thickness of the same material. Okay, so I'm just describing that the mass of the rope is different, even though the length is the same. For combining f lambda with that to refer to such equation, can okay, the equation leads to the conclusion frequency not be proportional inverse? Points of graded are at the three, one, two, three, and one, two, three from the end. Um, okay, all right. So that wraps up. That wraps up that question and that exam. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Um, that was kind of a weird test, in my opinion. Um, some of the questions were really easy and some of the questions were really strange, I guess. <laughs> but I hope that helped. Um, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.